Designing. Designing is a secret of customization. If you have great aesthetic skills, but you don't know how to design, your customization will not be very interesting and eye-catching. But if you don't have any artistic skills and you know how to design, with some easy styles and techniques you can create the coolest customization ever. And of course, if you have artistic skills and you know how to design, you can create customization on another level. So in this video I want to show you my process of designing and custom painting denim jacket. I want to tell you my secrets of interesting and eye-catching design. I'm Daria and welcome back to Art Fashion Channel. So first of all I'm thinking what is the inspiration behind design? Like, what is this design going to be about? It can be music video, it can be movie, it can be some scene from the movie, uh, it can be even original art, you know, my original art, but even original artwork has vibe and aesthetic and style. And like, aesthetic is so important because like everything depends on the aesthetic, like color choice, technique which I'm going to use, uh, details which I'm going to add. Uh, so in this video I decided to do something I've never done before <laughs> to show you the exact way of designing process. I'm gonna create an anime inspired design on a denim jacket. And I'm not an anime fan, but I know that a lot of anime fans are watching me. <laughs> so I'm gonna watch iconic um, anime movie Spirited Away and I'm gonna create design inspired by the movie. And watching the movie I will try to get, you know, the vibe and the aesthetic and like yeah, I will try to get into the anime world <laughs> and let's see, will I succeed or no? So yeah, let's watch the movie first. Well, I loved the movie, it was so beautiful and yeah, write me in the comments below what anime should I watch next. Because I'm so excited and I really think that I can become a huge anime fan. Uh, well, I have the idea, like what do I want to paint, like I try to understand the aesthetic, the vibe from the movie, like I found a lot of beautiful interesting details which I want to include in my design, uh, but I'm moving to the next step now, which is Pinterest step. I'm searching on Pinterest for spirited away images. Uh, why I'm doing that? Because um, Pinterest helps me to visualize my idea. What exactly do I want to paint on my denim jacket? Because when I search uh, for spirited away images, I'm seeing a lot of different images, like some the most important beautiful scenes from the movie, uh, some fan art, tattoos, quotes, and I'm like, okay, this scene is so beautiful, I love it, I need to include it, and like the colors are so cool here, I need to include these colors, or this fan art is so cool, like so interesting composition, maybe I can use such composition, maybe technique, or this tattoo is great, I love the quote, I need to write something like that too on my jacket, and such way, like using all, all the different images, I'm creating my own design. And I'm making this Pinterest step before every customization because, you know, I'm not a close customizer with my own unique aesthetic. Like today I can create very grungy Kurt Cobain denim jacket and tomorrow I can create like very cute and fun Spongebob denim jacket. So Pinterest helps me a lot to catch all the details, you know, to understand what exactly should I paint and how can I create the vibe and aesthetic. And the last step in designing is sketching, uh, but I'm not creating, you know, such very detailed sketch. I'm creating a very rough sketch, mostly composition I'm sketching out. Uh, it, I can make it, you know, with pencil and paper or on tablet, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just like sketching out like the main characters, what I will paint on the uh, back side, what will be on the sleeves, on the front side. It's just, you know, basic idea I'm sketching out. But I'm not creating a very detailed sketch. First of all, because I don't want to spend much time on the sketch, uh, because I know that I will spend a lot of time on the jacket itself. And also because of I understand that maybe I will change some things in the process. Um, like, 
in the process of painting, I begin to feel more inspired and I, when I'm seeing exactly what I'm doing, like I can understand better what should I paint next. Here I can paint this or it will be too much, I will not paint it. So yeah, I'm changing a lot of things in the process of painting, so I'm not creating very detailed sketch. But that's about me, of course. Uh, if you are a beginner, probably it will be better for you to create very detailed sketch and understand what will you do, what will you paint on your jacket. Well, I have sketch now and as you can see I included uh, colors from my favorite scene, which is train scene, so beautiful colors there. Also, there will be a bunch of different characters from the movie, my favorite characters of course, some quotes which I loved and yeah, I hope I will be able to catch this beautiful aesthetic of this movie. And um, I haven't decided yet what will I paint on the front side, but I will decide in the process of painting. First I will uh, customize back side. So, yeah. Let's start customizing! And to create beautiful sky from the train scene, I'm gonna bleach and dye upper part of my denim jacket. It's not like a necessary step in designing, uh, but if you have such possibility and if you can create a beautiful canvas for your customization, which will contribute to the idea of customization, go for it. So I'm here for it, I'm bleaching and dyeing my denim jacket. And I have a separate video on my channel where I show how to bleach and dye, so check it out. And yeah, I'm creating beautiful, colorful canvas for my customization. Here is the result of bleaching and dyeing and I love it and I think that was a great idea to create a sky from the train scene and I think that uh, this bleaching and dyeing effect will make my customization even more interesting, even more eye-catching. And now I'm gonna use chuck to sketch out my design and uh, I will have a central piece on the back side of my denim jacket which is uh, Haku and Chihiro and then there will be such small elements, details of the sleeves on the front side and I think that uh, such type of composition with one central piece on the back side is like the most common composition uh, for custom denim jackets uh, but of course uh, you can create other kinds of compositions too for example you can like uh, paint many 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 different characters and then connect them with lettering or with uh, some paint splashes like uh, yeah you can be creative in composition as well and also what is so important in composition is to use the whole space of the back side to see it as your canvas, the whole back side, not just some area between the seams. Uh, because like it's important to make artwork, if you're creating a central piece, it's important to make your artwork not too big, not too small, such a perfect size for the back side of your denim jacket. And I see these mistakes so often when cloth customizers are trying to fit their artwork in the area between the seams, then they have to cut some parts because this area is not enough uh, to create a beautiful artwork. But the whole space of the back side of your denim jacket is more than enough. So yeah, use the whole space. Do not limit yourself in any way. And why I don't like uh, denim jackets with just one artwork which clothes customizer try to fit inside the area between the seams? Because for me such jackets don't have any aesthetic and vibe, you just can't feel anything looking at this denim jacket. It's just a denim jacket with one artwork and artwork lives its separate life, denim jacket lives its separate life and artwork and denim jacket like they're not connected with each other in any way but denim jacket with the design uh, when artist cost customizer used all the areas of denim jacket like back side sleeves front side collar like looking at such denim jacket you can understand what artist tried to tell you what artist was inspired by 
and such then you just get um much more interesting much more eye catching much more powerful <laughs> you know uh, in the message than denim jackets with just one artwork on them but honestly, when I was just a beginner a couple of years ago, I used to create denim jackets with just one artwork on the back side of them uh, because it was like the safest way <laughs> to customize the denim jacket and the easiest way. Uh, and like, I couldn't even imagine that it's possible to create such complicated designs on denim jackets. But in the last couple of years, the community of clothes customizers has grown so much and I started to see uh, more and more clothes customizers experimenting with design and composition and using all the parts of denim jackets for customization and I was like, wow, it looks great, it looks interesting, I need to try to create something like that too. And you know, it's so fun to create complicated designs on denim jackets, it's so interesting, it's like doing a puzzle, you know, uh, creating design based on many many different images based on many many different things which inspired you so five years ago i would only paint haku and chihiro on the back side of the denim jacket and that is pretty much all what i would do but now i'm bleaching and dying i'm painting haku and chihiro i'm gonna paint a bunch of different characters as well i'm gonna write uh, my favorite uh, quotes from the movie i'm gonna add uh, many beautiful elements from the movie and yeah looking at this jacket you will feel the magic of the spirit world and you will feel that you are watching the movie again and this is how it should be i think that is how beautiful custom painted denim jacket should look like you should feel something looking at it <laughs> And sleeves. I'm gonna use sleeves for beautiful quotes from the movie, but first I need to find the font, appropriate font for the quote, and I'm searching for it uh, on the website thefont.com. There are so many beautiful, interesting fonts there, and I'm uh, choosing a curvy, dreamy font, which will perfectly fit uh, my design. Um, yeah, you should choose wisely font uh, for your design, because for example, such grunge, chaotic font will just not work uh, for me. So yeah, I'm sticking to aesthetic when I'm choosing the font. And you know, sleeves of denim jackets are so underrated. Um, so rarely I see clothes customizers using them, but actually sleeves are perfect for quotes, for some small elements, uh, even like not the small elements, but yeah, a perfect space for some details. If you want to customize your denim jacket, I definitely recommend you to use sleeves as well. So I'm using sleeves not only for quotes, but also for painting small characters from the movie, uh, small lovely characters because I feel that um, on any other part of the jacket these characters will just look lost but here on the sleeve they will be connected to the quote and they will be on their places I think <laughs> and by the way on the sketch I didn't have any characters on the sleeves just quotes but once I wrote a quote, I understood that I can add some small characters near the quote and these characters will look just perfect there. And this is what I try to explain that sometimes I'm changing things in the process, I'm adding some things in the process, because when I see a real sleeve with a real design, I can understand like what I can add more or maybe I shouldn't add more, like I can understand better when I'm seeing real design on a real clothing. And the front side of the jacket of course but i will not paint too many things on the front side just one more character which is no face and i loved this character and maybe some small elements details uh, because i already have very busy back side so i don't want to make front side too busy but this is just my opinion uh, i know a lot of clothes customizers who create very busy backside and very busy front side and such denim jackets 
look very interesting, very cool too, but that is just you know, my choice. Uh, I don't like to create too crazy designs, like busy backside is enough for me, so um, front side I'm making a bit more minimalistic. And you know, I couldn't decide what can I add more to the front side, what kind of elements, details, and then very creative idea came to my mind to make a reference to one of the most powerful scenes from the movie where paper birds chasing Haku and like, I thought I can create such uh, paper birds as patches and apply them uh, on a denim jacket. And yeah, patches is a great way to add unique detail to your uh, customized denim jacket. Because the more unique creative things you have on your denim jacket, the more interesting and eye-catching your customization will be. And it's easy to create uh, patches, you can use some old denim, it's easy to apply them, you can use glue for fabric or you can sew them on of course. So yeah, patches is a great idea for custom painted denim jackets. Well guys, I decided to put this jacket on sale and probably I will make someone happy with it. So if you want to buy it, I'll put link uh, of my Etsy shop in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was useful and I hope to see you next time. And here is the final result.